we're here. Hey, buddy. Howdy. Thanks for coming to Paws and Claws, The Lost Tales of Pugmire. I'm Dust, and I will be your guide dog tonight. You might see me down in the chat as an uh, angry nerd girl, but probably not too much because then I can't focus on the game. So <laughs> let's have everybody introduce themselves, starting with the guest. Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Lynn, and I am our lovely shepherd. I am one half of a pair of twins. All right. How about your twin brother? Hi, everybody. I'm Gwendy B, and I am playing Baguette's twin brother, Bagel. Um, I am our resident hunter. Let me just double check my character sheet real quick. Awesome. <laughs> <You're a laughs> Yeah, I'm a resident level two hunter. <laughs> uh, how about Kat? I'm Lilia, Lilia Cavalier, and I'm a level two ratter and the fanciest dog in the party. Uh, Alan, the dog. <laughs> oh, I'm the dog. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alan Johnson, and I am playing Grimly Greyhound, our resident stray and all around nervous greyhound. Or uh, Ashley. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley May, and I'm playing Priscilla Plot, our artisan. And Alan the cat. I'm Alan Engelson, and I'm playing Snowball the cat, who is totally legit and does not have any sort of nefarious uh, doings in his background. Awesome. So who wants to give us a quick wrap-up of what happened last week? I'll do it. Uh, upon leaving the cave, we found a bear, and he took my tuna. <laughs> uh, we gifted him your tuna so that he wouldn't eat us. Uh, yes. Uh, we used that to go and make our way to Pugmire. Uh, made our way into a lovely dive bar, and we're able to get some information on some happenings uh, that were going on. Uh, after that, of course, we had to finish up with uh, a shopping episode. Uh, and upon shopping, doing some purchases, Grimly mentioned the Meowthia uh, at the Cat's Corner, uh, which they immediately closed shop, told us to take whatever we want, and we left to be approached by what we can only assume is members of the Meowthia. And I was threatened by that the, an assassin by the name of The Smile would be coming after me. And I started making my way to the nearest inn after that. Lovely. And we were missing our dear Lilia and Priscilla. Do either of you want to tell us a brief recap of what you did last week? I As, have to go. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. I had to go ask grandma for money. <laughs> the second Priscilla got back into Pugmire, she went to the library and his, her style has been between book pages ever since. Okay. So let's get started. Um, Lilia, are you still at home with Grandma? No. I spend as little time there as I possibly can. I went... <laughs> I did my familial duty, and then I went looking for more interesting people to hang out with. <laughs> OK. So would it be fair to say that you went to meet up with Priscilla at the library because you had a good idea that that was where she was? She's easy to find, yeah. OK. And uh, so you find Priscilla at the library. And the rest of you, you had been in the cat quarter when we left. You had just been run into uh, some less than friendly felines and you were considering what to do next. Where to? I was making my way towards an inn okay. and I said and I basically told Grimly don't mention the meow in public. I think we should stick together. So I'm going to follow uh, Beignet, as he is <laughs> undercover here. 
Um, but also we did want to check out um, Grimley's old shop because there were some nobles having a secret meeting there sometimes. But Some that sounded sort of like savory types. Yeah, that sounded like an evening thing. So I, I don't think it's evening yet, right? Mm -mm. Okay. It's still afternoon ish. We got some time until that one. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow my brother. Okay. All right. So let's go first to the inn. That is in. What's, or not the end, blah, the university that's in Westwall, the library. So, Priscilla, you are studying deep in books. Yes. And you are approached by Lilia. What you doing? Having a snack. I'm reading. Yeah, what you reading? <sighs> Anything I can get my hands on at this point. Anytime I spend too long away from the library, I feel like my knowledge just dips. Like if I'm not staying on top of it, if I'm not constantly learning, I'm just wasting my time. Are you saying you felt dumber when you hung out with us? <laughs> Your word's not mine. Eh, that tracks. So are you done reading? <sighs> I suppose I am because if you, you have to go away, I'm meeting up. Mm, I don't know where anyone is. You don't know where anyone is? Well, you, I know where you are. Oh, well, clearly. Do you know where anyone is? <sighs> no, but I suppose we could go to a tavern. That's where all the adventuring sorts tend to gravitate. I'm not okay. seeing Grimly in a tavern, but I want to. So yes, that. And if we go, they can write more books for you to read. Yes? Mm -hmm. As you're talking, you see an older wizard who you actually recognize as one of your professors and kind of uh, higher up in the university. Uh, Aloysius Labrador is walking with his cane and appears to be going into the respective section. That's a fancy name. <laughs> yeah, uh, Priscilla starts waving at, ah, good afternoon, professor. Priscilla, my dear, is that you? What are you? doing here back at the university recharging myself oh, it's so good to see you and is this your friend yeah uh, we were just leaving we're going to a pub <laughs> this is lily cavalier i've Hi. been traveling with her for a little bit now uh what are you studying right now professor well i'm glad you're having some fun priscilla more young pups should get out there and have a drink as it is. I've been over here studying. Oh, you wouldn't be interested. It's more uh, of he's a probably step. right, Priscilla. You really wouldn't be interested. We were going to the pub. <sighs> <laughs> Fine. But you're buying me a book later. You come back. I'll buy you too. I you will. Out. Thank you, Professor. Maybe sometime I could follow you in there at some point. No, no, no promises. Maybe sometime. Bye. Oh, of course. You just kind of hear him muttering something about feline mysteries. <laughs> so uh, Priscilla probably looks about as upbeat as Lilia has ever seen her in that particular <laughs> moment, talking to <laughs> about possibly getting into the restricted section. No, and it was back, definitely about going to a tavern. Then possibly gets like slightly grumpier than her usual baseline level of grumpy as she's headed out of the library. Lily is oblivious. She has so much to tell you. She has so much society gossip that you have to hear every word of it. She is unaware of whether you're paying attention or not. I think I really am starting to feel dumber. <laughs> So the rest of you, are you looking for a pub over in Riverwall, which is where you were like kind of a uh, not nice area? Or are you looking for a nicer, cheesier kind of pub? Well, Snowball seems to have an idea of where he's going. So I'm following Snowball. I'm following Grimly. Okay. 
Noah, where are you headed? Uh, we're, I, I just, I'm heading towards the nearest inn. The nearest inn? Okay. So you find an inn that, um, oh, let's see, this is fun. Yes, this is actually in the book. Granny Sue's Roadhouse. <laughs> Granny's what? Granny Sue's Roadhouse. Granny Sue's Roadhouse. And you know it because it is the spot in the cat quarter to get illicit information. Oh. And baby business. Okay. I get not surprised that Snowball would know this place. <laughs> it's like you say roadhouse. My mind goes like a like Texas roadhouse, like steakhouse. Yeah. Like, I thought it was go gonna to, be food. We gotta Thank go to the Outback it. Steakhouse. Get that secret info. <laughs> oh, get a blooming onion full of secrets. <laughs> How do you know the password? <laughs> the secret is grease. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you go inside, uh, Granny Sue herself, the elderly wine writer is there working and making sure everyone pays their plastic. So she doesn't tolerate anyone not paying in her pub. And it's very dark in here, but that's kind of part of the theme. So like, there's plenty of intentionally dark quarters. She thrives on anyone being welcome for whatever reason so far you're perfectly describing every roadhouse i've been to so actually fair enough <laughs> <laughs> all right uh i'm gonna i'm gonna wave to to granny sue mm -hmm. and she kind oh. of waves back to you flip a plastic to her and i go over to my usual dark corner Okay. Snow Snowball is is that really your granny? Beignet. No, oh, Beignet. It's fine. It's fine. They they know me here. Oh. Okay, so I can be Grimly again. They... Well, they didn't know you here, but they do now. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I was talking quietly. <laughs> <sighs> Just, Keep just talking quietly. They have ears everywhere. You are I, I look in the dark corners. Suddenly, a uh, Newfoundland is right at your side. You basically didn't see because of the darkness. Uh, and, uh, oh. you want to take a drink order? Is the water free? Nothing in life's free, sweetheart. So, okay. how much is the water then? Well, how long you plan on sitting in the booth just drinking water? No, it's okay. Snowball drinks. Hydration important over, is all. I hand over some plastic and I say two waters and a, a hard milk. Oh, uh, water with, with lemon, please. Thank you. Lemon's good for dogs, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll find out. Beckett just really tries to take Grimly gently and reassuringly over to the table. Like, come on, it'll be okay. Just, you know, <laughs> just trying to trying to keep things calm. It's okay. This seem this place seems nice. I'm sure it is. Ben Yang has friends here. <sighs> So eventually the newbie, who's Snowball, you actually recognize uh, since he's been here before. Uh, and he comes back and he just says, uh, and you can see back to town, Snowball. Uh, two milks, a uh, hard water, and uh, looks like you got a third doggy there. Do you need anything, ma'am? Um, whatever you recommend is good. All right. Surprise me. I recommend the water. Uh, Plasma Grunt 51 says that lemon is toxic to dogs. So. Oh. 
It's like I just asked for a nice drop of arsenic in my wine. Like okay, I hear it's great alcohol for the flavor. is toxic to humans, kind of technically. So yeah, so maybe it's it's true. just <laughs> lemon on the edge. Just, just suck some lemons, get drunk. <laughs> well, like some hardcore. The uh, lemon's just there for the aesthetic. It's fine. <laughs> so uh, the newfie comes back with um, what is a plum whiskey. Oh, mm, nice. Sounds good. We don't often get uh, shepherds in here, ma'am. So uh, enjoy <laughs> your beverage. Thank you. <laughs> and quick question to Priscilla or Lilia. Did either of you take one of the ladybugs with you when you left? Probably not a bad idea. I'm trying to remember which one of us had it two weeks ago. I think so. <laughs> I, I feel like Priscilla's the type who would take that. Yeah. She seems smart. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm going to guess that maybe Priscilla has one and Baguette has the other because they're both sensible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? But Baguette didn't even try it. Baguette didn't even try it. I so just got explosive eggs. Does Priscilla <laughs> have one and maybe Snowball has the other? Yeah. I think I think Priscilla had two of them, and if there was anybody she would trust to have one in the party, it probably would have been Baguette. So she probably okay. would have just been, here, you hold on to this one. Okay. Hmm. So, Baguette. Okay. Don't look shocked. <laughs> Who else okay. would she trust with a magic item? <laughs> no, it's just like, at the time, she would have been like, okay. All right. So she tried to know how to use it. As you're walking around trying to figure out where they are, I'm guessing you would, Casanova, give up but get a call eventually. Okay. That's my guess. You don't have to do that. I was just. Yeah, if, if you don't, it's just four hours of walking around. Puck Priscilla's my listening probably going to call Baguette on it. Okay. Like, because she doesn't want to go to a tavern if she doesn't have to. She's like, where are you? <laughs> I'd be like, wait. New ladybug who dis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, where did it oh okay. Hold on. Hey. It's Priscilla. Where are you? Is that Baguette? Say hi. Hi, Baguette. Hi. Hey. Hi. She just sort of <laughs> holds it up to Lilia to see you say hi. <laughs> uh, hi, Lilia. Baguette, who are you talking to? It's Priscilla and Lilia. Oh, tell them we say hi. <laughs> Everybody says hi. Hi, Grimly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. Everybody says hi. Grimley Where says are hi. you? <laughs> um, we're at Granny Sue's. Granny Sue's? The Roadhouse. <laughs> like she knows where that is. <laughs> the Roadhouse? Yeah. Lilia, Lilia knows. I'm sure she knows. Uh, Lilia, do you know where this is? Oh, do I know? <laughs> uh, it's by the docks. Yeah, I know. Can totally All right. It. We'll Roughly. be there. Sort of. I'll say you might have heard of, yeah, you probably know. You do all sorts of illegal crap. <laughs> <laughs> I sense some judgment Jeez. coming from the guide. Okay. I've been known to do some illegal. I really like to be there. I going to say, Lily, you'll probably go like slumming there just for excitement. Classic nobles. Look, I, if you don't know where it is, I'm happy to tell you. I mean, I just figured, you know, it's my part of my old neighborhood. Um, I know Lilia sometimes. I you lived around here, there. No, this well, is not your neighborhood. You're from the north area. This well, is the sort area. of. It's like nearby-ish. It's like kind of an adjacent neighborhood. Yeah. Well, so, I can find it. It's been a while, but I'm sure I can find it. Okay. And if not, someone will tell us. All right. Um, I think I think Priscilla, you won't like it. Lilia, I think you will. Oh no! Oh, no. All of the webcams just moved around. <laughs> oh. That was really weird. oh no! <laughs> we just shuffled. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time fixing this. 
<laughs> it was I'm so up. sorry. I think my camera accidentally cut out for a half a sec. <laughs> I, I think it's Priscilla's shock at the thought of being at the roadhouse. Yeah. It's yeah. it's it's the ladybug yeah. frequency just kind of went a little off a little bit. <laughs> the ladybug broke everyone's picture. Um, you know, the reception is a little uh, uh, strange. Greetings, I'm Baguette Corgi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a little something in my throat there. Okay, right. they're on their way. They say they are. All right. <laughs> uh, this whole co time of the conversation, like, hearing it, I just have, like, I'm face palming. Just like... <laughs> <sighs> so, right. Snowball, who are we supposed to talk to? Is it your grandma? Uh, we don't initiate the conversation so they, they will come to us so we just sit here and wait sit here and wait someone will appear whether you see them or not hmm. just look down at my water and just start being like <laughs> <laughs> so who is snowball expecting to see uh just I, I I would assume that I've talked to many informants at this point. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just waiting to see one of them. Okay. Any of them. And because they they usually they usually take a look around the the dark corners, see who's there, and because usually if I'm here, I'm really just looking for information. Okay not at all a problem. So as you're walking around, or not walking, you're not walking. I'm sorry, I can't freaking talk today. Oh, there's two Priscilla's now. <laughs> I have no freaking idea what's going on tonight. <laughs> I don't know why there's a second video channel of me. I don't know. It's fine. Sorry, I'm, it's cropped I'm out. I'm definitely it's shouting fine. this. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, so, so, yes, <laughs> so as you are sitting at the bar waiting for your friends to arrive um you actually see a mouse that you recognize as well as a cat who you recognize from the woods, who appears to be very out of place here. Hmm. You see Fiddlesticks, the one bandit who survived your- Oh, the one that got away. Bandit murder. <gasps> we weren't but... trying to murder them. They, two of them were unseen and we were trying to kill those unseen and then the message got messed up in translation. And now we're here to finish the job. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No. That uh, may be what it looks like, though. <laughs> I I walk up to... Are, are they just, like, walking in? Um, so they're not together. The mouse that you see appears to be Dot, actually. But you can't really tell. It's very dark in here. That's part of the vibe. Um... Let's ask her about the Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, whatever's going on with this mouse, they appear to not really want to be noticed. And um, with uh, Fiddlesticks, she just looks very uncomfortable. Like, you know, this is a cat who's used to being out in the woods. And she looks just completely overwhelmed by everything that's going on in here. Like it's dark, it's not loud like the last bar you were in, but there are a lot of dogs and cats and mice. And she just seems to be like making herself kind of small. Hmm. Okay. This resonates um, with Bagel. <laughs> can we can we all see these these two or just Snowball. Snowball 
can see them best because Snowfall is the one who can see in the dark. Oh, true. <laughs> we just but see vague figures. Hmm. If the rest of you want to give me a notice check, uh, see if you see. <laughs> uh, I'm ready. I'll, I'll I'll pass because Snowball told Grimly to just to keep his nose down, so that's what he's doing. That is a dirty twenty. Yeah, forget see them. Uh, that's a twenty-four. Yeah, oh, Bagel, damn. you can really see them. And you actually notice that Dot looks a little different than when you saw her before. It's different, like, uncomfortable or, like, sore? Like, her nose is a different color. Oh, just straight up different. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so maybe it's not Dot? Or the first one wasn't Dot. <gasps> a a Dottle... Gang, doppelganger. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna try that one. No, it's too late. It's out there. <laughs> or, or Dot got roughed up some by some less than reputable people. <laughs> what us? <laughs> no. No, we can change that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. As I see them go and sit down in a corner, mm -hmm. I'm going to stand up and walk straight over and sit right next to them. So they're going to sit uh, sit next to Dot or sit next to Fiddlestick? I'm going to sit next to Fiddlesticks. OK. So you go over there, and she is holding um, a mead. But she immediately throws it in the air. Goes, please don't hurt me again, please. I catch the mead. <laughs> Place it down. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt. I'm here just for information to find things out. We really got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, you killed all my friends. Um. <laughs> I don't have a gang anymore. First was those monsters drew me out of my home and I don't have anywhere to live. And then I met you and it seemed like you were helping. You were making friends with Napoleon and then you just killed him. Monsters in your home? Well, you saw that the unseen we told you with the nobles that were there, like we in the caves, all of us all of just trying to earn a good living, robbing people. Oh. That's all of us trying to do. Take a deep breath. Relax. I explain. I explained the entire scenario with the unseen that happened, and that I am a really clumsy kitty. <laughs> you, you're so clumsy. You're so clumsy that you just straight up murdered Silk. All of us left of her with a cloud of dust or smoke. It was just smoke. You just straight up killed her. And then I got really sick for a little while afterwards. I kept coughing up milk. Just... Can I make an... Can I make a check and see if the unseen is in in fiddlesticks? Yeah. Either that or she's been vaping again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say they're not the same thing? <laughs> This is a notice. Um, this would be no arcana. Yep, I don't even got that. <laughs> well, so you give me a straight what? That's a four. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can't tell, but what you remember from your fight, and this is something you wouldn't need to roll for, is that when you killed Smoke, she was possessed by a smoke demon. And she did leave corrosive smoke on the ground. Okay. And Phil Six was standing right next to her when you when she exploded. Okay, so just she was her okay. Um Yeah, I I I, I we we meant nothing by it, really. We did not mean for all of that to go down. Um I mean, you killed Rizzo and Nightclaw, and they were all, all they were trying to do was rob your friend. 
I understand, and uh, he's probably a really good catch to rob. I'm not even going to lie. He seems uh, like it. He's really nervous, and he has a lot of questions. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I understand. I I agree. <laughs> um, do you guys know that I, I look at Dot. Can I see, like, the nose, like you said, it's discolored. Does it look broken? So Dot's at a different table. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's not with Fiddle Six. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask... Have you heard any rumors about movements from the Meowja? And I'm saying this really quiet. I don't. The Meowja? Is that like a monarchy thing? You know, I, I think I think these drinks are just getting to my head. I slide the mead back back to fiddlesticks, and. I, I get up and walk away, leave a few pla plastic on the table, and just say, thank you for your time. Thank you for leaving me alive, I guess. <laughs> Why you know, anywhere? Looking to hire, you know, murderers and thieves to hook up fiddlesticks. Holdless sword for hire. <laughs> References are important. Mm. I'll keep that in mind. I'll uh, I'll let people know. Um, while he's doing that, can I go over to Dot's table? Yeah. Um, I just want to walk up and as I approach, go, Hi again. Um, sorry about my friend. And I want to see how they react to that. <laughs> So she kind of startles and like goes, hi again. Shop? You came to the you you came to the shop, right? Yeah. Um and I uh my my friend accidentally startled you. I just wanted to apologize for that. He didn't mean it. Oh uh, well, you know, things happen. It's a weird business. Yep. Are you the only person who works at your shop? Um, it, it's my shop. It's Doc's shop. So uh, that's a funny question, dog. <laughs> I'm just here to have a good drink. All right. Sorry. Just, I, just curious. We'll go back to the table. Okay. She, she doesn't should... remember us. That's interesting. I hear fear can make you forget a lot of things. Also, I don't blame her. Also, her nose is a different color. I hear fear can do that, too. <laughs> you sure? Should I go and say I'm sorry? I did for you, and she did not seem to uh, panic as much as I would have thought if she knew what happened. So I don't think she knew mm. what happened. That's interesting. That, that, like she forgot all. her. I don't know. Maybe she has a twin. Ooh, wait. I don't want to scare her twin. I, I, in this scenario, you would have already scared her twin. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to slowly get up and just sort of as like meekly and like m making myself look smaller as like a seven foot long monster dog can. I'm just gonna uh, like boom, boom, boom over to the table and just try not to loom and be like, uh, hello again. Hi. Hi. You so. Again? Hello? Um, I just wanted to. We're, we're cool, right? I mean, we're classic in my shop. We're cool. Hmm. Upon, okay. upon seeing Bagel go up to Dot go back and then seeing Grimly approach, I would immediately divert from going back to the table straight over to with Grimly. That's a good call. <laughs> hey, so do you remember that thing you sold me? Well, because no! you didn't really sell. Oh. Oh, hey, Snowball. You found Dot. It's hey. so good to see you. It's been so long. What are you coming to buy? 
Hey, we were just at your shop. Yes, you were. I mm. forgot. Can I, can I do a, a, would this be a sense motive to see what's up with this? Yes, you may. And oh, I'm going to say Priscilla and Lilia will be arriving at the bar very shortly. That's one of the skills I actually have. And, and since mm -hmm. Beckett was able to see uh, their, their entrance, can she make any sort of, um, you know, checks against this too? Because I assume she's been watching this very closely. Yeah, but now that she's been pointed out to you, you're totally aware of her. I got a 15. So okay. does this, this would be a sense motive then? Yeah. I have advantage on those and that's really good because that one roll was bad. So that's 16. Okay. Um, and Priscilla and Lilia, you walk into this dark, dirty bar that's mostly full of cats and mice and see your friend talking to a concerned looking white mouse. Forget and Grimly, you both get the idea that Dot is very nervous uh, and trying to hide something. Hmm. You kind of look at Grimly like seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's definitely Dot. No, I mean, <laughs> she's hiding something, but, but what? Hmm. Secret twin. <laughs> we all have one somewhere. <laughs> Baguette and I each also have a secret twin. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous. <laughs> so many corgis. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm 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 gonna flat out ask Dot. You know, I'm still interested in uh in in the one item that uh you were trying to sell to my 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 greyhound friend uh earlier. What was it again? Oh, you know, so many items. What was it that you were looking for, uh, dog? I immediately shush before Grimly can say anything. He was looking for a large weapon. Oh, yes, I have those, I do. Um, he was looking for a, and you see her quickly, like her kind of thinking really quickly. She goes, he was looking for a battle axe. Or hammer. Hammer. Yes, you look like a dog who uses a hammer. It was a hammer. So you were interested in that, weren't you? Well, how how much was the first thing you offered? The big one? I, uh, special prices for my friend Snowball. That was that was the battle axe, right? I actually need to go, but it was so lovely seeing you, Snowball. Hey, Snowball, it was a door, though. I put my hand around Dot and guide her to the corner. So, Snowball, I what? Mm, I, I don't do this. Uh, <laughs> Dot, <laughs> Dot, something's off. Something's wrong. What's going on? We've known each other for a while now. You can tell me. Give me a charisma check, either persuade. Yeah, probably persuade, you're being nice. I can help, I have a negative one. And, <laughs> and I did opt, I, I did keep, uh, I did keep immaculate grooming. Mm -hmm. I do have advantage. Okay. All right, so that is. 10. 10. Okay. Uh, cool. But I'm not saying much, but I am saying it's been dangerous in the market. And um, 
I have a cousin who's in town uh, who works the shop for me sometimes because it's not safe. You saw. Okay. I really I just want to get my drink and go. Can I tell if she's being legit here? You mean that's that? Oh, fair enough. That'd be sense motive or? Oh, yeah, sense motive. Okay. Sorry. You're good. Uh, oh, no, that's better than before. Uh, 17. Yeah, you get the feeling she's being on the up and up here. Hmm. Good for her. I'm just a small mouth. It's okay. To okay. run an illegal business. I, I, I understand. Is it, is it the mafia? No, we don't like that word. I know, but I can only think of that being the reason. So, Todd told me that you came, that somebody came to the shop and was talking about the Mafia earlier, and he had to close early. Well, I missed out on a lot of sales, and now I can only assume that that was you, Snowball. So do you still want to be welcome at my standard back? I would like to be welcome at your stand once again. Good. So, be quiet. Don't tell anybody about Todd. You have my word. Todd. It's Dot. It's Dot backwards. It's like, did I miss here? (laughs) Nope, it's Todd. Bagel called it. Evil twin. <laughs> it's a cousin. Cousin. Evil cousin. <laughs> okay. Well, that that makes me feel better. I, I, of course, I let Dot go and do her own thing. And you see her just kind of throw a plastic at uh, Granny and take her like double-fisted drinks and run out of the tavern. Hmm. Priscilla and Lilia, you've kind of been watching this happen. So what's going on with the two of you in this bar? Bagel's waving at both of you from the table, like. <laughs> so by this point, I have a bottle of mead. If I've seen fiddlesticks, which I may not have done, I've also ordered another bottle of mead sent over to her. With the bartender just told to say, with apologies. <laughs> And now that Bagel has recognized this, I'm just going sliding over there with mead and glasses. What did we miss? What's happening? So, um, there was a bear in the cave, uh, but we fed it some tuna so that that was okay. And then we came here and went to lunch. You missed lunch. Um, then, uh, we went to a store. We got some stuff. Grimly said some things you shouldn't have, so we got it for free. Then uh, we came here, um, and uh, the person who sold us the things uh, turns out to have maybe an evil twin. And that's what's up. Also, I have no money, and everything here costs money. Oh, I have plastic. And Bagel quietly sits in the water. reaches into a purse and hands over a couple of bits of plastic. Thank you. If you say, I have plastic... About a dozen heads turned towards you. <laughs> and you realize that Lilia did this on purpose. Because mm. the moment she has the full attention of the room, she just, she finally looks happy. <laughs> and uh, the newfie kind of comes over and says, well, it's rare that we get such a high class lady in uh, this kind of establishment. Can I help you with anything? It's ma'am? rare that you get a dog with such a beautiful coat in this type of establishment. Oh, thanks. My name's Patrick. I, poly- I, I brushed it myself. I went to the groomers this morning. It looks wonderful. You look wonderful. <sighs> um, Patrick, Patrick Newfie, ma'am. Lilia Cavalier. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, that, that's a beautiful name. Can Why I get you Phil? Um, you know what? I'm fine, but maybe my friends would like something. Uh, spiced carrot juice. <laughs> She's paying. 
I'll, I'll, we we don't have any of that, but I I can find some. I'll 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 be right back in about. It might take me some time, but I'll, I'll find a carrot. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> The, Thank you, the, the, second, the second Lilia mentioned that she had she had plastic and everyone turned. I'm now very closely watching her pockets to make sure nothing happens. <laughs> as as we come back over to rejoin them, I'm just gonna look at Lilia and be like, Oh, I, I didn't know his name was Patrick. He didn't tell us that. He yeah, seems he, like a nice guy. He seems really nice. He's very big. Very big. <laughs> <laughs> he seems sweet and maybe if we're nice to him he'll you know tell us stuff like more about the evil bagel said there was an evil twin situation is it true that's pretty much what i heard so oh you mean todd who's todd <laughs> oh uh, well we met todd a little bit ago oh well, wait well we did but you guys were off doing something where were you library Family. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Sorry, Katsunova's eating my wires. <laughs> Cat no. crime? Bad kitty. We're good. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Todd was uh, at the shop, but that was, we thought it was Dot, who you also didn't meet. Did you see the, the mouse? The mouse? Yeah, 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 we saw the mouse. Yeah, we the uh, really scared looking mouse. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. We scared the cousin. That's Todd. So I got a hammer. Evil cousin situation. Mm -hmm. Well, questionable yeah. cousin, maybe. It's, it's a cousin. Questionable who's cousin. What, what? What exactly is evil about any of this? I don't know. Um, I think we came off as the questionable ones because we scared the poor the poor thing um uh yeah no my my concern is more uh that i i apparently have like an assassin kind of sort of looking for me it's fine i'm i'm sorry what well it's nothing it's fine it's not nothing. It's an assassin from the sounds of it. That that definitely qualifies as uh, not nothing. The opposite of fine, also. Wait, when did yeah. they say there was an assassin? Yeah. Oh. You didn't hear that part? Which part? What? With the smiles? I thought that was a good thing. Yeah, smiles are friendly. Assassins called smiles? Well, that, I don't know. That's the thing like... ever. Wait, maybe we shouldn't be yelling about assassins in the middle of this room? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe this is the one room where people wouldn't be surprised if we were talking about it. Yeah, it's very, very normal here. Literally, no one is paying attention to you as you talk about assassins. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, like, Snowball, why? They were focused on Lilia once she mentioned plastic, but pretty much as soon as Patrick came over and when they saw Snowball kind of guarding her pocket, uh, everyone here seems to have gone back to what they were doing. Um, when we went shopping and we ran into Todd, Grimly mentioned the Meow Pia, and you don't do that in that area. Um, upon the shop closing and we got some things at really good prices, um, it, some some lovely characters came up and uh, made mention of a name that I'm familiar with, uh, The Smile. Such a good name for an assassin. Is that because he cuts your throat into like a big smile? Oh, gosh. That's so neat. That's, That's a really lot. It's very gruesome. Or maybe, maybe that smile is the last thing you see before you... That's, oh, no, that, that's, yeah, that's that's creepy. Also, that's also bad. Yeah. Why are you excited about this? Not excited. Just be assassinated. I want someone to do it with a smile. This would never okay. happen in the forest. Service with a smile. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Customer service comes first. No. 
Oh, Lord. We broke Ashley. <laughs> oh, this is Priscilla right now, just facing her paws. Just... <sighs> Priscilla's still angry because I made her put her book down and she wanted to talk to a very, 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 very old dog Wait. about books instead of coming here where there is an assassin who did you run into an old professor of mine aloysius labrador um jess would this be somebody that i get would know yes he is also a professor of yours since you two said that you went to the same school oh i i remember him how is he doing ah uh, he talks even slower than he used to um, oh but unfortunately, Lilia decided to pull me away just as he was heading to the restricted section when I thought I could follow him in. Oh. Well, you know, I think at some point we're going to have to head back there anyway because we have questions. And, you know, we found books. So what stops you just going into that section? It's restricted. Restricted. But what, what stops stops you though restricted by a by gate not wanting to get or library oh they usually have one of those like rope ropes that go across the door to you show that it's off limits the velvet rope lilia yeah that well rope. i'm supposed to be on the other side of velvet ropes that's well, what they're for i mean not it is a university higher learning you're not it is a university and I haven't tested it, but I'm willing to bet that there are a few little um, traps and tricks and things in place there to keep people out. When you say you're willing to bet, well, how much? it's not a challenge to you right now. But how much, theoretically? Like, if I could get in there and come out with a book, how much? Well, or a few. Let's see if we need that, and then we'll revisit the conversation, okay? Need. Because right now, what I'm thinking is, we found books, right? We might have something that they'd like to see. Boring. No, not boring. Once we get in there and we can take a look around, I mean, there might be people there that... How do I put it? Um, maybe there are some people at the university that we can trust, and maybe there are some that we can't trust, and, you know, maybe Lilia will have to do your way, and maybe we have to do the way that Priscilla and I usually do it, you know, but we have to figure right it out first. Uh, this is so complicated. Yeah, I'm still really worried about the assassin. <laughs> In every way, it's the right way if you don't think too hard. What's wrong with thinking? Uh, thinking it hurts. Fine. That's positively the much thinking. worst statement I think I've ever heard. No, no, Priscilla, wow. you're, you're, thinking, you're thinking way too hard about this. And, you know, I don't judge. I just, I don't understand that. I just... I just sips her, her, her whiskey. <laughs> no, well, they're going to be thinking about this all day. Where's my freaking carrot? <laughs> it just seems like, you know, we've got a lead with the Snowball's assassin, and we've got a lead with the uh, uh, Butter's um, shop. Uh, by right. the way, by the way, Snowball and Grimly aren't allowed to be in Pugmire, so now they're... Uh, oh. uh, Oh, right, there are- Beignet there are and butter. Croissant. No. No, it's definitely beignet, because I don't have a single cousin named Croissant. Wait, it's... but I, I thought I was beignet. No, you're butter. Oh. I thought I was croissant. No. No, you're butter beignet. goes on the croissant. That's why I'm butter. What? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. What? Wow. <laughs> Follow-up questions? I didn't. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> anyway. So we have a lead at Butter's old uh, shop, so we can go there. So I don't really think we need to, like, read a book, is all I'm saying. No, but... I think Bagel's right. But 
we have questions about that symbol that was on the floor of the cave, that summoning circle. So what, what, just to clarify, what time is it like right now, roughly like time of day? <laughs> no, <laughs> take your time. <laughs> we don't need to read a book. <laughs> like, I have an int of eight. <laughs> let's say dogs and cats don't really like tell time. Actually, you sort of tell time in, this is interesting. So the dogs and cats have different methods of telling time, but both have to do with your tails uh and the sun so dogs tell like time in <laughs> whereas cats do it in twitches but also the movement of the sun so you know that it is later in the afternoon okay and you and uh priscilla you know that patrick newfie has been gone for many wags <laughs> to get this parrot She's starting to get really aggravated. He's determined. So it's getting a little on the later side, and I don't know, they said that there were some noble folks in that shop we were talking about. So weren't there noble folks or whatever in the cave too? Exactly. Exactly. Well, I'm not a smart dog, but... The conspiracy is. And then we can... Unmask the most. What are we trying to do? Uh, this Patrick comes back, like looking somewhat winded, <laughs> and just says, "I ran to the docks to get a fresh carrot, and then had to squeeze it and put in some spices." There's You're the best carrot juice for for Lilia's friend. <laughs> only, Thank only you. one carrot. That's not a lot of juice. I give Grimly a glare. What at about chest level? <laughs> right, right at the navel. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. You should get yourself a drink too. And he just kind of like walks off, like <sighs> exhaustedly. <laughs> That's a really good bartender. So how is it? Terrible. I'm the bouncer, not the bartender. Oh, no, whoops. Your friend's a real party. Oh, no. <laughs> There's like one lap of the tongue worth of juice in here. Single carrot. A for effort. <laughs> a lot of spice, though. <laughs> he did what he could. It's just carrot with just a bunch of pepper dumped in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. So, we have a lot of things we could do. Where do we start? Well, I mean... I don't want to read a book. Thank you. (laughs) Well, like I said, I know we have questions about the summoning circle, so it's not necessarily about reading the books. It's about talking to people who might help us understand what we saw. Well, if if there are people who are going to be in there at night, they might have more stuff that we can ask about, especially if we find them there. So we could go there and do something to them that's bad. And then if they have any stuff that we can show to the people at the, what is his name? The old guy who talks slow? Aloysius Al- Labrador. Aloysius. Gee, just, that's a just good call name. Him Professor Labrador. Professor Labrador. Then maybe he can tell us more about whatever it was that we found. Okay. That sounds good. And also, we could try not getting assassinated. I like that plan a lot. Well, it's really only Snowball who has to worry about that one, but we should oh. all try to not get Snowball assassinated. Okay, but if we all stay with Snowball, the assassin can't assassinate him yeah maybe we can link arms and just walk together <laughs> like in a circle around snowball yeah. i'm, I'm gonna, not doing that <laughs> i'm gonna look snowball dead in the eye and put my paw on his shoulder and just say i'm gonna be honest i'm st- I, i'd like to think of you as a newfound friend but i'm i'm not gonna get assassinated for you buddy <laughs> i'm really genuinely terrified of assassins which i think is a really valid opinion <laughs> 
And I just give his arm like a pat and I pull it back. <laughs> At that pat, uh, the charged collar releases. No, I'm kidding. Uh... <laughs> it grimly dies. <laughs> oh, Grimly can't die. He's he's a tank. So he's a buff as one. <laughs> it's true. Um, that's okay. Well, I'll I'll deal with it when the time comes. Okay. So we'll check out the shop tonight. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I just guess we just get smashed until then. <laughs> Um, I got won't get smashed, but you know, she'll enjoy her drink. I think I'd have just appreciated the carrot at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so you brought a couple more rounds of drinks, and everybody who is intending to get smashed, give me a calm shack. Yeah, as not, the as the for stealth oh, mission. Oh, well, hmm? Grimly is nervous, so he's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, natural twenty! Woo! Thank goodness, because the you last just... thing we need is drunk greyhound. <laughs> Four. You, if you're wondering how the rage happens, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> but God, how much are you drinking? She's just like sipping on her on okay. her. She's seen this this group going into potentially a fight. She wants to be clear-headed. Okay. <laughs> uh, Grimly, you are so fine. You um, have the tolerance of a, a stray. Fantastic. Yeah, an iron stomach. Uh, Snowball, you see Granny Sue come over, and it looks like there's two of her. <clears throat> Twins. Hard to tell. Evil twins. Um, and she says, uh, this note was left for you, dear. And she hands you what looks like two notes, but is really just one. You're just kind of, you know, messed up. It, it takes me a few tries to actually reach for the note. Uh, oh. th- 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 thanks. <laughs> For man's sake, he just drops it on the table. Oh. Hi, hi, Gray. I I grab the letter. I open it. I attempt to read it. <laughs> it looks like some squiggly doos and a picture. Uh, do, do you want me to... Uh, here, how, how about I just... just uh, you... I, uh, okay, okay. Priscilla's going to try to read it. Okay. As I, I'm, I'm so drunk, I start trying to pick my own pocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, it says, we're running out of patience. Five days, then yay. And then there is a paw print on it that Snowball recognizes as the Meowthia symbol. Well, Snowball would recognize Snowball would if he recognize, was sober. You recognize as uh, the symbol that you saw in banknotes earlier. Snowball. <laughs> Sorry. Beignet. I don't know what you're talking about, my name's Croissant. <laughs> no, it's Why not. <laughs> Why do you have only five days? That till the assassin comes. Hearing that, do I sober up a little in shock? You tell me. What? I'm you gonna go ahead it. and say I, I I I start paying attention a little more at least. Okay. You said there's a paw print, and, like, right? Holds up the note with the paw print. What does the paw print mean? I grab the note and desperately start trying to focus and actually be able to read it. <laughs> uh. Priscilla it's, takes the water she's been sipping and slides it over to him. <laughs> I, I definitely start drinking the water. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. 
What is it? Um, I may or may not be doing a job. Mm -hmm. A contract. I guess that sounds say. A contract mm -hmm. for uh, the mafia. Does does that does that get us more free stuff? <laughs> What's the contract for? The contract is to kill the the schmelligen. Sh I can't say it. I'm too drunk. The what? Schmelligen family, the last of their house. Milliden. Smilodin. Smilodin. This name means nothing to any of you. Um, okay. Keep drinking like, water and we're going to try this again. I have to kill the last of the Smilodin family. Um, uh, this I, that's, I don't know how much, I don't know how much they know because they really wouldn't have given me the contract otherwise. Who is the Smilodin family? Yeah, I've never heard of them. I don't think I've heard of them. Why the wouldn't last, they have given you the contract? The last known members of the Smilodin family that is it you? I know of is my sister and I. Called it. Oh. oh. That's embarrassing. Do you oh. like your sister? I Everyone. What? start grabbing for my weapon at that comment. No, it's because that, uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. Everyone likes their sister. Well, that's, that's debatable. That's not true. My sister's dumb. My sister's <laughs> the best. Thank you. Yeah, I like uh, your this... sister. <laughs> Good. This... Just Keep sipping the water. <laughs> oh, do we have to fake your death? So, all right. First things first, do they know you're one of the last members of this family when they gave you the contract? They gave me the contract. I do not believe they knew. <sighs> that settles it. You have to fake your death. You can live in the woods with me. They don't know he's him anyway, so he doesn't necessarily have to hide. He just has to keep being. Yeah, we just well, have to fake somebody's now. death. Oh, I mean, they know me as Snowball. The fact that it's signed Beignet means they they already know that alias. No, well, you don't understand. They don't know that. We don't have to fake your death because they don't know you're the last smiley dog or whatever you said. We just have to fake somebody's death. It just has to be two bodies, right? So we just have to fake your sister's death. Right? Right. We... I don't know. I, I need to get more info and to know what they know. Well, we don't have a lot of time to get that info. Okay. Um, hmm. What happens after five days? Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming I will be found with a smile. Well, that's well, good. That happen? That's not oh, good. Wait, is that why the assassin's after you? Because of this. Well, that's good. It's yeah. just one thing. Lily is my hero. Well, here's what I'm what I'm hearing though. As long as Snowball, you have this job, that means you're in control of it, right? And and in theory, you would be able to control um, how how the job goes and, and keep tabs on it. If something happens to you and the job goes to somebody else, then it would be harder to maintain the safety of the sister. 
So that would be another reason why we we'd want to keep it. Um, oh, so you're you're in control of the situation. In right now, to a certain degree, that's the way that I would think of it. Um, if if this gets played the right way, more in control than if he's dead. Yeah. No, but I'm, but even if they were to say, well, we'll we'll give the contract to somebody else. Um, because then you can use subterfuge to your advantage because you're on the inside. I, I'm sorry, I've been around universities and university folks are really sneaky. <laughs> Have you ever been in a departmental meeting? No. No. Yeah, I'd be very glad. <laughs> um, so... Is that, um, is that what you call an assassination attempt? Because if so, then yes. Well, if you've ever seen people going up for tenure, it can be pretty brutal. No, it's more like somebody's birthday when everybody finds out that grandma's changed the world, but nobody quite knows how. It's like that. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Um, that seems like a very specific example. What? <laughs> Let's put it this way. At universities, you have to defend your dissertation in something that we refer to as the snake pit. Mm. Question, what is a dissertation? Yeah, those were big words. Oh. Is subterfuge the thing that spins really fast? <laughs> no, that's like a top. <laughs> okay. I forget. I forget. Um, anyway, we can be sneaky and use it to our advantage. I agree. All right. That makes sense. Um, but that means, Snowball, we keep you safe in the meantime. And we've got, based on the notes that we found and the other clues that we found, what I'm seeing is we've got the Meowthia, we've got the Friends of Man presumably working together, which What's that about? I don't know. Um, so we have to be careful who we talk to, even at the university. I still think the Meow Fear are just bankrolling the Friends of Man. But still, um, between the university folks, folks in the church, and the Meow Fear, you don't know right now. So for Snowball's safety, we have to be careful. This is a lot. It is. Well... I do have an idea now. If we want to try to get into the restricted section, I think I have a way to grease Professor Labrador's paws and keep Snowball safe while we're at it. Okay. Well, when the professor, Lily overheard it too, as he was going into the restricted section, he was mumbling about feline mysteries. We do have that book that we found um on on uh on magic maybe maybe we can entice him that way um i don't know well as i saw it we introduce our good friend croissant keep changing the names up <laughs> our resident expert on feline mysteries right. get him to tie up professor labrador and let us have free reign to look around the restricted section hmm. Okay. Okay. I Plus, like that. The restricted section would be a very hard place to assassinate someone. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> well, maybe I not. I agree with Lilia. <sighs> well, well an assassin just going assassin. to sneak into a quiet library. It's easy well, to sneak in a crowded street. It's easy to sneak in a marketplace. It's easy to sneak in a loud bar like this. How is someone going to sneak around in a quiet library where they okay, but, step on a okay, quick board and somebody's every, going to shut them? Everyone's quiet in a library. Yeah, so they, they kind just of normal. kind of walk around quietly and then they just walk into the restricted section. But and then in the restricted there. section when nobody else is there, they stab you but everyone will notice them. And this is going to be the most crowded the restriction section's ever been. Wait, who are we stabbing in the restricted section? What about Grimley's <laughs> shop? Well, I think that's what we need to do tonight. Because I can't imagine that 
the ancient professor is going to be up too late tonight. Which also means that. he's not in the restricted section tonight. Well, there's that. Grimley's about 10 minutes behind in this conversation. <laughs> yeah, it shows on his face like. Priscilla's like drawing stick figures now to try to explain that we're not stabbing anybody in the restricted section. <laughs> we get blood on the books. <laughs> All that's that going on in Bagel's head right now is just like white noise. Just <laughs> maybe, maybe we start tonight oh, looking God. at Grimley's shop, see who's there, because we heard that there are nobles and other people doing strange things there. Maybe we get more information from that. And the nobles need to get into the restrictive section. <laughs> Got it. Okay. It is now night. You guys have been here for a while. Oh, jeez. That takes a much deeper drink right now. It was long enough for Snowball to get totally hammered. So y'all have been here for At a this point, while planning this out. just trying to scrub the stick figures off of the table because she ran out of room on her napkin and had to start going on the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well... We have to we have to do something because they're gonna close. Yeah, well, or at least kick us out if we don't keep spending money. So, but we have okay. a plan. We're going to the shop. Oh. All right. Well, I'm done with mine, and I push away like my twelve mugs. <laughs> I push away my one water mug that is now empty. <laughs> I am also done. Okay. I take another giant sip of water. That's fair. <sighs> to adventure. Yes. To Yay. finding the truth. To standing outside a shop window until dawn. <laughs> And as we all start to file out, um, Patrick actually comes up to Lilia and uh, just, I, I do hope to be around again. I haven't seen you in the new park before. Do you work here every day? What was that? Do you work here every day? Oh, yes, ma'am. I, I live right above. Oh. I, I'll be back. And then he just kind of, his tail starts wagging really, really fast, and his ears perk up. <laughs> this is lit. This is, that'll be nice. And then just ducks back inside. Cute. <laughs> Lilia, you make friends everywhere you go. It's truly an amazing thing. Just big furry ones. <laughs> So you know that Grimley's old shop is uh, just southwest of here. It's in Southgate, the fancy quarter where Lilia lives. Okay. It's a nice place. And Priscilla might also live. I'm not sure. You're pretty shishi. Most artisans. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. Or, so yeah. Do I know anyone with a home or a shop or some kind of premises overlooking or nearby Grimley's place where we can kind of hide out and watch people coming and going? Yes, you do, actually. But give me a check to see if they're home. Sure. Uh, this charisma check. Uh, that's a 13. Okay. Plus 13 plus something. 13 oh, plus something? 16 total. 16? Mm -hmm. So you know that um, Lord Huntington Peak lives nearby Grimley's shop. Hmm. Then we will be calling on him. Oh. Hmm. And um, you mean that you'd like to, you know, be in the warm near a fire instead of hiding in the shadows? So he lives kind of, I'm guessing Grimley, your shop was on at the first floor, so everybody mm -hmm. could go in. So he lives like a few doors down and in a large estate-ish type thing. So you could even see like over if you wanted to. 
few doors down and across the street. Um, so if you go up to there, you're going to go to his place. Is that okay with everyone? Sounds good. I mean, Grimley, as soon as they pass by his shop, Grimley's just going to hide behind the smaller dogs, which is <laughs> incredibly hard. <laughs> I'll protect you. Um, and I'm still tipsy and I'm trying to like hide in the shadows in the middle of the street. <laughs> I mean, you're a darker colored cat. You can sort of do it. You're good at sneaking. Yeah. Uh, you notice that Grimley's shop appears to be completely abandoned. It's boarded up and it's dark in there. It looks spider webby. It looks like nobody's been in there. Oh. Good old Grimley's garments and embroidery. Hmm. How long ago did you leave it? Mm, a while. <laughs> like two days. <laughs> <laughs> That's a while in dog years. <laughs> it seems like forever. It's been 36 hours. Should we leave one of the ladybugs in, ladybugs in there so that we can hear what goes on? Do they work like that? I think yeah. Yeah. it has to be acted on, activated on each end. I did you say that we could use it as like a like drop it somewhere and then listen? Yeah, because yeah. we can like oh, literally okay. bug a room. Yeah. Well, then let's right. do that. I'm gonna let you do that. I'll be down here on the other side of the street, five five houses down. <laughs> I'm um skitter skitter skitter. Going gonna go and prepare his lordship for several random dogs and a cat descending on his house. So if we want to deposit one of these, where do we do it? Do uh, want to this place? Is there an open window or a hole? There is not. A chimney? Well, you could find a hole. You could look for a hole, actually. A chimney? Chimney would also be good. Grimly, is there a chimney in your shop? There's no flames allowed near any of the any of the cloth. I'm sorry. That makes sense. You can look for a mouse hole, though. Yeah. I'll chimney. look for a tiny hole. Yes. Is this a notice check? Yes. I'm thinking like a Pugmire sized mouse, so just a mouse hole that's like a small <laughs> door. <laughs> Let me in. There's like, I mean, because you're mouse. like. Um, what is the word? I keep wanting to say like awakened dogs, and that's not what it is. Arisen dogs, but there's also even like canines, which are just like dog dogs. <gasps> we are the Omega dogs. Oh my god! <laughs> um, just get into that weird thing of like Mickey's best friends with a dog, and also has a dog. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. a search check actually, not notice. It's a search because you're looking for something specific. Oh okay. Um. Is that still a wisdom or is that something else? It's still wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, it is a 19. Okay. Yeah. You find a little mouse hole. All right. Maybe if I just sort of toss this through the mouse hole, then it'll be inside but out of the way. Because I guess the other option is breaking in. And I feel like Lilia is best at that and she just left. Snowball would also be good at that, but he's drunk. I'm not drunk, I'm tipsy. He's probably drunk. <laughs> okay, so you learned how these things work. You know that all you need to do is like say the command word to turn it on, and then you can sort of like put it somewhere. You might need to like kind of guide it through the hole, but yeah, you could do that. All right. I want to attempt it. I don't know what the activation word is because nobody's let me mess with one yet, which is probably for the best, but. <laughs> let baguette activate it and then just sort of like nudge it through the hole okay. use, a stick. It, it use a stick to like push it through the rest of the way yep you have officially done that all right fantastic and lilia you are going to see lord huntington who you know, um, because you go to, you went to school with his daughter and you see the Pekingese family at lots of parties. Um, 
So the door is answered by your knock by a butler who is a uh, poodle in uniform. Oh, that's such a good image. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What is Lord Huntington's daughter's name? Uh, Her name is... What is lower than a lord? Is it a duchess? Be a the little Huntington. <laughs> it's okay. She can just be Miss. Miss. Okay. Is Miss can Huntington be... home? She'll. She's. Well, I haven't seen her for so long, and I was told that she's been waiting for me to call. It's a little bit late for Miss Anastasia, but how have you been, Lady Cavalier? He gets a look as just like. The doormat is talking. (laughs) Why is this happening? (laughs) Perfectly well. Uh, Some friends of mine will be arriving shortly. I will await them in the turquoise drawing room. Lord Hunter is not receiving guests at this hour. Well, tell Miss Anastasia that I'm here and I'm sure she will want to receive me. Until then, I shall be in the turquoise drawing room. And I pat him affectionately on the chest. And I swan on in, and I'm going to really see how far I can go with that good breeding trick. (laughs) (laughs) And um, he just said, it's most inappropriate, man, but he kind of mutters, and it's, uh, he's not going to talk back to a noble dog. And he recognizes you from the parties. Good. (laughs) And I am absolutely convinced it's going to take him ages to wake up any member of the household <laughs> um i'm going to invite myself to a room that vaguely overlooks the right part of the house okay um are you letting the rest of your friends in uh, the butler has been informed that they're joining me <laughs> <laughs> i shall come and yap at him if they don't arrive presently <laughs> all right so the rest of you when you catch up to the house, you see a poodle in a uniform. Are you seeking donations? Uh, we're seeking uh, a cavalier. Lilia uh, said to join her here. Uh, <laughs> Same. Beckett will put on her best you know, Shepard, um, so grateful for the accommodations. You are most kind. The house is most accommodating to us. Most irregular, ma'am. Most irregular, indeed. He kind of... There's a high-pitched yip from somewhere upstairs of, Butler! Butler! (laughs) Have my friends arrived? And he kind of steps back and just beckons you to come in. (laughs) Thank you. As they start walking, and Priscilla kind of leans over to Grimley and say, "says Nobles see most a lot." <laughs> oh, they're they're like that. They they like to seem important. <laughs> I I stop I stop uh, in front of the butler, bow, and go. Thank you very very much. <laughs> and then keep walking. I have some coffee brought to the turquoise room, sir. That would be great. Bagel gets to the doormat and then just stops and kind of like tries to wipe his feet on the doormat, but he's his he's wearing like the one pair of hiking boots he owns, and they're more dirt than shoe at this point. So <laughs> just kind of wipes for a bit and then is like, I'm going in. It's okay. They have people for that. <laughs> And Lilia, you suddenly hear a very high-pitched voice go, Lilia, I thought you were at your grandmother's. Anastasia, she let me go. It was awful. It took hours. 
What are you doing here? I'm not having a party tonight. No, I know, but I haven't seen you and I've been out of town and I missed you. Oh my gosh, I've been away at school for so long. Uh, I feel like I've never, like I haven't seen you for years. And then oh, I'm just going to bury her in wagging and small talk and air kisses probably. And just so many air kisses. Her tail is just wagging. So Daddy never lets me have visitors. This lady's such a bore and he's not even home. He's not? No. I'm here all alone with a boring butler. So stupid. Well, I brought friends. <sighs> Can we have a party? Your father, your father would not approve. <sighs> and a cat. There's a cat. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've only ever seen the ambassadors. This is so exciting. He is not like the ambassadors. Not at all. Like the ambassadors, you've never met anyone like him. And there is a shepherd, but she's fun. Really? Sort of. So welcome back. I've never seen her drunk. <laughs> oh my god, one time Shepard got drunk and it was so funny. Priscilla starts trying to pick up Snowball because he's he's just leaning. <laughs> He was listening to all this and just having like flashbacks his face is thousand yards there like I forgot what these people are like. <laughs> I'm hiding behind Grimly. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Are you like the guy who used to own that store? Wait, no, is that another Greyhound? I missed that store. It looked so good. Did you have a shop there, Lilia? Do you remember that store? I had store? the best gloves. I still have my favorite pair of lavender gray gloves. The oh my gosh, thing. I used to buy their embroidery. So it was so pretty. They had the buff collars. Whatever happened to that guy? I'm pretty sure he died. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I guess you know, right? Like Greyhound thing? Yeah, it's we all, we, we, we keep in touch, you know, Greyhound things. I, oh my god, is that a cat behind you? <gasps> Oh my gosh, are you a, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My name is Anastasia Peek. I'm the Countess Peek. And it is a pleasure to have you in my house. <laughs> she catches me in the midst of trying to hide, like climb grimly and hide <laughs> on his back. No, Snowball, oh, it's okay. She's I, speaking our language. I... <laughs> Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> and Lilia, who are the rest of your friends? Who's this handsome fellow with the dirty shoes? <laughs> this is Bagel. He's... Bagel? What I, I, I don't know how to describe <laughs> Bagel. Maybe I'll just let Bagel describe Bagel. Outdoorsy. Yes. Outdoorsy. I go outdoors on the deck and it is so fun. <laughs> That's a great Bagel start. Is, Bagel is so brave. He fought bandits and he fought ticks and he's fought all kinds of monsters and he is the bravest corgi that I have ever seen, except his sister. Hi, Baguette. Hi. Oh nice God. to meet you. Oh my God, this is the best night. <laughs> Thank you so much for for letting us visit. Uh huh. <laughs> you just kind of see her tail wagging a little bit. Well, you, we should really take this party to a room with windows for that natural lighting and so we can see the rest of the bugmire. Oh my gosh, I love natural lighting. Yes, I look so much better in natural lighting. My coat is so much prettier. Candlelight, it can be kind of romantic though, but there's nothing like a full moon, which we don't have tonight, but it is pretty cheesy when you can see the stars. Mm -hmm. Hi, I didn't meet you yet. Hall dog, what's your name? <laughs> Priscilla. I think it's Butter? I'm Priscilla. I read books and it's boring and you wouldn't like it. And she just kind of backs away to the back of the group. <laughs> to Lilia, I go, Butter is the Greyhound. Yeah. I think My she mom the... loved books. Well, she did before she died, but I don't think it was the books that did it. Some of them are really heavy, though. If you want to read and do like Priscilla just kind of stares I mean, awkwardly at her. <laughs> I, people have said to me a lot, like, if books could kill. Anyway, you want to 
go into uh, the room with like the balcony. Do you want to go to the balcony? Go outside, go outside. Yes, please. Bagel, do you want to go on the balcony? Sure. I will go on the balcony with everyone. Okay, let's go. I'm waiting for the butler and coffee. <laughs> Almost like magic, you go to the room that she leaves you and there's a fresh pot of coffee with a uh, serving set there waiting. Thank goodness. I pour myself two cups. <laughs> So, so what are we doing? Are we just sitting and having coffee? Because that was a really boring thing to do late at night. Well, it's a party, so we should play some games. <sighs> oh, I know games, but they're all outdoor games. I mean, well, we're we technically outdoors. Coffee. How about... We need room to run. Well, how about what? we stand okay. on the balcony and we look that direction and we play I Spy. Or we could play licks and live. What? That sounds like a terrible idea. What is, what is that? What? what? <laughs> um, okay, so we we spin a glass, right? And and then whoever it lands on, you have to say lick or lie, and then you either tell them a lie or you have to lick each other. It's so. <laughs> it's so oh. funny. And you know what's best about it? Only two people have to pay attention to it at any one time. Right. Okay. Right? Sure. That gets a little flustered. Not, not even gonna lie about that. She's a little flustered. It's like, oh, okay. I'd like to sneak to the balcony. Crystal <laughs> is also trying to sneak to the balcony. Oh so, uh, yeah, I thought yeah, we, we were on the balcony. You're in the room that over that has a balcony. Okay. <laughs> let's let's just walk out of the balcony. Where it's nice out. Um, give me a a sneak check, please. Is it, is, have we gotten back to Snowball left? 24. <laughs> okay. 16. Nice. So Snowball, you basically <laughs> merge with darkness. <laughs> <laughs> and go out onto the balcony. And Priscilla, you... You see Snowball. Um, nobody else really sees Snowball, but you decide to follow his lead, and you both like sneak away into the night of the balcony. <laughs> so what I would like to do, ideally, is I will happily spend this period of time distracting Anastasia, but also kind of trying to like keep her circulating between my friends so that nobody really has to pay attention to her for more than like five minutes at a stretch. Okay. So most people can kind of do their jobs. <laughs> Hi, baby. Okay. Hi, strong <laughs> baby. He's pony. He's very loud. Um, <laughs> everybody else up to? Um, Baguette will try. She, she's, she's a little, a, a, a little flustered because this is socialization of a different type than she's used to. But if it will help, she'll do it. Because okay. she sees what Lily is going for. She's not really one for this kind of party game, but she'll try. I like that Snowball and Priscilla both vanish from camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's method acting. <laughs> Um, Bagel also participates because he's a slow, sweet boy who is just like, I like games. <laughs> Grimley, are you going to play? Grimley's going to play, but Grimley's also just like, I thought we were using the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> this works, this Grimley. But uh, everybody can sneak out. You can all take turns. Right. It's a party. Everybody has to sit together the whole time. You drift and you mingle and you can go outside and come back in and you can all take turns. Okay, so and I can I can her. Yes. I can go out and come back in. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I go out. Why do we want to go out again? 
Because we can see the we can see the shop mirror. Huh. Okay. Butter, where are you going? Oh, I just need like just need to stretch my legs. I come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a glass, so I'm gonna spin. Okay, and I spin, and it lands on. Oh my gosh, a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Like a so wait, what happens now? Um, either either you have to tell a lie or we have to let. Uh, and that's my decision. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> I. At school, when we played this, everybody would just lick. <laughs> just in the back of me. <laughs> um, highs or lows, team? Highs, always. Hi. Bagel goes up and licks her on the nose. <sighs> she, like, her tail just wags really hard. She's like, oh my god, yes! The night is already a success. Lilia, you have the best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so he good. couldn't think of a lie in time. <laughs> so Snowball and Priscilla, uh, give me a search check as you are watching what's going on out there. Snowball, you can make it with advantage since you can see the Nat twenty. Nice. Oh, thank God. I had a nat one at first. Eight. Uh, that would be... What would I add here? Um, it's wisdom, so... Oh, I rolled an 18. 17. Okay. I'm technically <laughs> a 23 total. Okay, cool. Goodness. So, you um, see several well-dressed dogs start to sneak into the back behind Grimoire's shop. And uh, they're not going to the front, but you see them kind of go around the back of Grimley's shop and don't see them come back out. And Priscilla, since you got a nat 20, you recognize one of them. Really? Mm -hmm. You recognize one of them as an older Labrador. That's, that's Professor Labrador. Rut row. What, what, what do we do? Um, we, well, I, I, uh, we need to let your, your microphone. Let, my microphone? You're very quiet. Oh, sorry. Uh, I I think I think we need to uh, we need to let the others know somehow. You said the Labrador was there. That was definitely Professor Aloysius Labrador. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Um. Good news. You might be able to go to the restricted section sooner than you thought. So Priscilla turns around and like goes back into the room. Uh, you walk in and see Bagel licking Anastasia on the nose. It's and very brief. Just flapping away. No, it's uh, very brief. <laughs> that's that's wonderfully awkward. We need to go. Mm -hmm. Already? Yes, Why? yes, already. Um, the people that we uh. But we were having a party, and it just got interesting. We have other appointments this evening. And we need to go to I, I thought we had that taken care of when we left that message with them in right, right. over the road. Well, things just got a little more complicated. I, I, I walk up. I, I walk up. And I go. I'm. I'm so sorry. We we found out. We we, we must be going. Um. I I. Were you I, I guess this is... balcony and it was really bad. Is that what happened? 
as uh, the, we have to we have to go we, we we saw someone we we need to we need to speak to immediately um and very reluctantly but to try and placate her snowball like licks her on the nose twice and then just like turns and starts walking towards the door scraping his tongue Bleh. good oh my gosh that was a lot rougher than i expected <laughs> Anastasia, I think he was sick off your balcony, and I'm super, super duper sorry. And if the butler has to clean it up, I'm even more sorry. But um, I think I need to go and make sure that he doesn't do it again on someone. I'm so sorry. He's kind of a mess. Priscilla goes to like grab Baguette's arm to like walk out with her quickly. What, What? 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 Professor Labrador was one of the nobles sneaking into the building. What? It was Professor Labrador. Besides, how are we supposed to eavesdrop on them with her friend sitting there? Um, you have the other ladybug. I thought Baguette had the other ladybug. Never mind. (laughs) (laughs) We dropped one in there and you had the other one. Okay. We can't very well let eavesdrop with her sitting around. Well, no, but you, well, you could listen on the on the balcony while we keep her distracted. Listen, I'm kind of panicking a little bit considering our professor is one of the nobles who is apparently having these secretive meetings and he was our best shot at trying to figure out what the heck was going on in the first place. Well, that friend is all we have time for for tonight. Oh no! But thank you so much much for coming to watch Claws and Claws, the last lost tales of Pugmire. I have had the privilege of being your guide. My name is Jess. You can find me on Twitter at Miss underscore Jess 03. I write stuff. I just actually had a new game come, uh, not new game, new um, supplement come out yesterday. It's full of piratey goodness and baby monsters called It's Dangerous to Go Alone. <laughs> Narrated by a pirate cat and her sister. So please check yeah. it out. It's on my Twitter and my website. And please support our Patreon. Um, there's links in the thing. Help us get better recording equipment and uh, chairs that don't break my back. <laughs> Let everybody else introduce yourself, starting with Baguette. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Lynn. I am a very easily flustered uh, shepherd right now, um, going, what is happening? Um, But uh, you can find me later this week, specifically on Friday, where I will be in a honey heist game, uh, specifically a disability awareness stream uh, on the uh, Embrace Embrace the Initiative Twitch channel uh, with Honey and Dice as the storyteller. So come and find that. Um, I have the info on my uh, Twitter. So please look for the details there. I think I also will have another fun announcement about some other cool stuff coming up this week. So also look for that on Twitter. When I'm not doing that, I write stuff. So, and I hang out with Jess a lot, just doing all, all the things. So that's me. Wendy. Oh no, I think you're muted. Yep. I sure was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's try that again. I'm Gwendy B. All across the internet, you can find me mostly on Twitter, but on pretty much any standard social media site. I draw pictures in exchange for money. So if you like seeing pictures and or like giving people money, hit me up. <laughs> um, I recently did some illustrations for Harper's Tale, which is a 5e um, adventure written by a girl who has leukemia and it is raising money for friends of kids with cancer. It's on Indiegogo right now, raising funds. So definitely check out Indiegogo Harper's Tale um, because they're looking to raise some money for a good cause. Priscilla. Hi, I'm Ashley May. I'm a writer on the Dungeon Masters Guild. And I recently did some artwork for an upcoming book called Hellbound Heists. It's going to be part of the Descent into Avernus adventures coming up recently as the DM's Guild contribution to that. It's going to be nine hells, nine heists, one huge adventure book. And it was a blast to work on. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled on Twitter at hashtag Hellbound Heists to find out when that's going to be coming out. Lilia. Lilia is muted. Yes, 
I'm Kat, Lilia Cavalier, and I'm sorry that all of Lilia's friends are terrible. This is a precedent <laughs> that will continue for the rest of the season. And I also write words on the DMs Guild and the Sluration Vault and other places. And if you look for Catherine Evans on the Sluration Vault, you can buy a book about killer mermaids that lay eggs in you and take over your brain. Grimly. There we go. And I am Alan Johnson, uh, who's currently drifting the left due to my cat. Uh, I am also going to be on DM's Guild as a writer, and you can find me at Twitter on at Narlor Jenkins, you little jerk. No more. Hi, I'm Alan Angelson. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at wildwolf underscore eight. Uh, and I just, I play test scenarios. <laughs> And wonderfully too. I thank you so much for joining us. We have to go, but stay tuned. There is another game about to start. And follow hashtag calls and calls on Twitter and support our Patreon. We love you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.